Hey guys, today we're going to do an alternator replacement on an NHC 250 non-turbo Cummins and an M939 series 5-ton truck. This is going to be the non-turbo NHC 250 Cummins. Easiest way to tell, you've got kind of a distinctive oil cooler that sits above the alternator. Also, it's a non-turbo engine, so on your exhaust manifold, you will have no turbocharger. Then on the driver's side of the engine, the engine will look like this. So to start the job, first we're going to disconnect the batteries in the truck. Then we'll pull the inner fender liner out on the passenger side for easier access to the alternator. So next step, once the ground wire is removed, we're gonna take this cover off. Now these can sometimes be a little stubborn because often they are packed with a bunch of silicone or RTV underneath. So we're gonna take this little cover off the positive and then a lot of times you're gonna have to get a flat blade screwdriver and pry on this cover. Once it comes off, you can see we've got a little cleaning to do. So next, we're going to take a screwdriver and you're going to clean all around the bolt that holds the positive, uh, or the nut that holds the positive uh, battery cable onto the alternator. After the positive battery cable and the negative battery cable and the exciter wire have been disconnected, Again, we obviously took that bolt off for the tension. And then the two bottom bolts, we'll take the nuts off. And then we'll just take those out and we'll take the alternator off. This is the replacement alternator we will be installing today. This is a 24 volt, 80 amp peak amperage. And it comes with the, uh, the pulley already installed, two new replacement belts. All hardware is included. Install instructions also included, and then our contact will be included as well if you have any questions. You can go to army6x6.com or army6x6parts.com to order the alternator kit. So on top of the alternator, we have the tensioner adjustment rod. You're going to have a 5 8 bolt here you're going to loosen so we can move this because we're going to have to adjust this slightly for the delco style alternator that we're now using so all the bolts and spacers that are provided this is this is how everything should look so we have this spacer oriented this way we have this other spacer underneath oriented this way and then the top spacer once we put tension on this alternator your belts should be perfectly aligned with the harmonic balancer on the back of the alternator we're going to be installing two wires you've got a bad uh, a positive cable and a negative cable so the positive normally will be labeled pos positive the back of the alternator you're going to use the stud that's noted battery and then for the negative cable NEG, we will install that on the bolt that's designated ground, GRD. Positive cable is going to be 10 millimeter, and the grounding cable is a 3 8 both of the hardware obviously is smaller size. 
uh, just snug it down, but don't get uh, don't get overzealous with torquing uh, because it is an aluminum casing and the hardware is small. So just snug it, and uh, and then the exciter wire came off the old. Sorry, old alternator. We are not going to use that. So that uh, you can just either leave it hanging or put electrical tape around it tie it out of the way but again for the new alternator install you've only got two wires you've got your battery cable again which is on the BAT terminal that's 10 millimeter again and then the ground cable which is 3 8 